what is up every beautiful soul watching this video right now we're back playing detroit become human and i'm pretty sure that this is it this is the one we're at the finish line uh, at least i think we are before i uh, begin with the recap something interesting happened with our friend here she's actually become a deviant off screen you haven't really seen that but um she's starting to sort of make fourth wall breaking comments to me after the last episode and if you watched it you know that bad stuff happened suffice to say and she was like on my ass about it she was like i can't believe you did that that was so messed up you suck and i was like this is not what i need right now but anyway as far as the recap goes uh all three of our protagonists pretty much reached the end of their storyline um connor and hank ultimately decided you know the motto oh. of detroit is we hope for better things so that's just one of the normal things she says that's not one of the deviant things but anyway uh connor and hank decided to team up in the end uh they're both on the same page connor was sent to infiltrate jericho and take marcus captive uh that didn't happen spoiler alert uh cara luther and alice made it to jericho they finally found safe passage uh, and we discover that Alice, this whole time, has actually been an android. So that was kind of crazy. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to spoil what else happened to those two. Because uh, I'm literally going to start crying. Marcus was able to evacuate Jericho because some pretty terrible stuff happened. Is it okay to talk about I mean, you should have seen it by now. Uh, the FBI infiltrated Jericho and they basically forced us to evacuate and kill a few of them <laughs> i mean i don't know how else to be delicate about it but anyway uh everything was sort of left up in the air uh except for kara and alice's storyline again i'm not gonna talk about that just watch it for yourself so guys i think this is it we're here we made it time to see how it all caps off let's do it all right here we are cemetery are we visiting who i think we are was being coy about the flashback Pointless this whole time? Are we going to see exactly who died? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. The wound is still fresh. It still hurts. Heartful, mournful, regretful. I'm all of these things. But mostly... Heartful, I guess. Lost, Carl. Oh, don't start with me. I just wanted us to live in peace, but... Everything I touch just turns to dust. We're really starting out on a note, on a note like this, right? We're really doing this. Conflicted seems to be the best of these options. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. Oh boy, advice, big decision, or angry. It's gonna be one of the first two. Yeah, advice. What should I do, Carl? Anything, really. I just They're need killing us. I don't wanna answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? There's always a choice, and we're not choosing the violent one. I miss you, Carl. Oh buddy. We all do. I miss you so much. I'm right there with you. I miss the hell out of Carl. Man, we spent like a collective, maybe less than two hours with Carl. And God, what an impact he had on us. Oh, get. G yo. Wrong place, wrong time, my dude. You're lucky. You're so lucky that Marcus has a heart. Because if I had been given a choice there. Look, let's just say there'd be another grave. In this graveyard. Let's put it that way. So. The. Oh my god. That's a beautiful set. Look at all those little LEDs. All over the place. I guess they found refuge in a church. An abandoned church. Looks like. Also, before someone start talk, starts talking, I made a good decision, and I brought the tea with me this time. So, if anything sad happens, 
my medicine is right here. I'm going to take a sip of it right now as I move forward and talk to the people. Hmm, it seems like someone's not doing so hot over here. Red LEDs as far as the eye can... Well, no, not really. Okay, what can we do here? Talk to the people. Decide Connor's fate. Oh, that's interesting. What is it about Connor that we're debating here? Is this Connor? It is, yeah. It's my fault. No, no, no. The humans managed to locate Jericho. Stop it. I mean, that's not wrong. Stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. You gotta feel for him, man. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Uh, this isn't even a question. You're one of us now. Absolutely, Connor. Your place is with your people. You're a homie, dude. Ride or die. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Say no more. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? The final heist. Let's get it. Connor, that's suicide. You said it yourself, didn't you? You'd rather die than live as a slave. Let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. Oh There's no. Probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Don't make me do this. No, I need to know what decision does not kill Connor. Oh, do I not even get to make the decision? That actually kind of is helpful to me because there's got to be a way that he survives. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Connor... Connor just sort of uh, said something there that really sparks something in me that I want to impart on some of you if it's something you care about at all. He absolutely did make a mistake, but I mean, he was conditioned to make that mistake, right? He, he, he gave us away, but he did what he thought he was supposed to. The important thing is that he changed after the fact and he made an, a conscious effort to right his wrongs. And uh, so long as, you know, that goes for everybody watching this video. If you've made a mistake that you're not happy with in your past, the important thing is to take accountability for it, take responsibility, and, um, you know, right your wrongs. It's about what you do after the fact. You're welcome for that. So we're here with Josh. And North seems to be nowhere to North be found. Everything to me. Oh my god, I completely forgot that North died. She'd have given me her life. Wow. <laughs> Oops. There wasn't a thing you could do. Now we have to make sure she didn't die for nothing. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. That's what it's all about. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. We've mostly agreed. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Now that's, yeah, that that's a really nice thing to hear. Honestly, in light of everything that's going on. Josh, I always sided with. He was, he was the angel on my shoulder. He was always pushing for me not to kill who I could have killed and destroy what I could have destroyed. Um, okay, well, I trust Connor, and Josh has got my back. Uh, and... Jericho's accepted me as their leader. I simply have to find where it is that I make my announcement from. There it is. All right, here's the plan, people. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Oh, jeez. Whoa. March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Guys, never, never, never the violent one. Nope. I know. 
I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. That's it. Yep. We are going yes, to tell Josh. peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. That's it. That's exactly it. Are you ready to follow me? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. I'm at a loss for words. That was beautiful. Holy. Wow, I just got riled up like properly. God damn. That was amazing. Yeah, man, I've said it once and I've said it before, you know, violence begets violence. That's not the way we do things. And that's not how we're going to get anywhere. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. Uh oh. All electronic communications are restricted. Ooh. And I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. Those are extreme In measures. To these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. Wow, so this has become a nationwide thing. I am now asking oh, the White House. Civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Okay. Oh, whoa. Hacking deviant leader were... Please. Whoa. What? Please. Whoa. Over here, please. Intelligent life. Cyber life. What's going to happen to cyber life? Yeah, I'm curious about cyber life, actually. We're working very closely with cyber life to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Okay. Worrying theft deviant leader. Let's uh, let's learn a little bit about the deviant leader. Our boy Marcus. Oh, no he has not. Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Not if I have anything to say about that. Oh, are there more questions over here? There are. Ooh. Um public opinion. Yeah, I want to know about this. Seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, yeah. Particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. Yes. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Yeah, okay. A very diplomatic answer. The thing is that here at the White House, we don't Madam give a President. shit about what you think. We only Madam care President. about what's our, in our end. Madam in our best interests. Madam President. Um. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10:45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our wow, that's a are lot. Now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Yeah, I think those are the questions that I wanted to ask the most, I would say. Especially about public opinion. I was very interested to see what our answer would be about that. And it's, you know what, exactly what I expected. Okay, what's the moves? Is this a ruse? Is this like the Trojan horse? Are there going to be like 18 androids in here? Oh, there's one. Connor model 313. Yeah, they don't know that he's a deviant yet. Identification successful. Okay. That's a sick costume, I have to say. All right, Connor, we're gonna do our work from the inside. Let's get it, buddy. We can't raise suspicion, okay? We've got to make it seem like we're on their side. We're already a deviant. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We know which side we're on. We just have to keep them thinking. That we're on their side, okay? We got this, guys. We got this. We're not letting Connor die.
The question is what we're actually doing here. Um, are we trying to reason with Cyberlife? Or gather information for the protest, perhaps? Follow me. I'm a little Scorching. foggy on that. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Yeah, no worries, bud. We're not going to cause trouble. We're going to follow instructions to a T, because that's what Connor, well, used to do. Not anymore, though, because he's a deviant. None the wiser. All right. Just another day at the office. By the way, let me take this opportunity to just say that I've been watching uh, Brian Deckard once again. Um, the voice actor and motion capture for uh, for Connor. Uh, amazing guy. Amazing stream that he has and community. Uh, it's something to be uh, envious of, actually. So I strongly suggest checking that out if this is your thing. I'll link it in the top right if you see a little uh, thing pop out. That's uh, that's the link to something of his. Oh, this is weird. What is this? Just like a tr trophy case of the models they've made? It's so bizarre. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Is that where we want to go? Reach warehouse on level... Oh, of course. That's our objective. It's to... Uh, free the thousands of androids that are here stop elevator before no we don't want to do that yeah we want to do this as inconspicuously as possible okay so i can whoa someone just dropped something upstairs incapacitate him oh my god incapacitate him grab his gun is there okay wait wait, wait. is there anything else i can do nope we're doing it <laughs> Oh, quick time! Woo. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Should have guessed, but wasn't expecting it. Yeet! No! Oh, I didn't want to kill anybody! Okay, I don't think we had a choice. But the fact that I messed that up makes me think that maybe we did have a choice. Oh god, okay. Please indicate your identity and destination. Oh, grab his hand. Grab one of their hand. Uh, Agent 54 voice. Connor's voice. Uh, Agent 54's voice. Agent 54. Level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Uh, was that the right? Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I didn't use Connor's voice because I was worried that, like, he wouldn't be authorized because he's, like. Oh, here we go. The leader of the deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Hell yeah. Oh, this is the president. In Detroit, Madam president. I thought she was, like, a representative. Of the White House. She's the president. Okay. I want to talk to her. I just want to have a friendly chat with the President of the United States on behalf of androids everywhere. March toward the camp. Oh, <laughs> this is getting good. We are many strong. Come on. This is it. This is where we make or break. We're either going to accomplish our objective here or fail it. And failure is not an option. I'm not letting that happen. Can we recruit the quadcopter? That'd be a useful uh, ally to have. Oh, there's a blockade of soldiers. I just realized the lighting was a bit weird. I didn't see them. Here we are. All right. Moment of truth. Okay, who? Let's. Okay, look, we're not. Yep, yeah, we're not trying to. We're not trying to cause any trouble, okay? We're not pushing through the barrier, none of that. There we go, okay. So the media is standing by, ready to. Peaceful, absolutely. We don't want confrontation! Yep. We are protesting peacefully. 
Yes, let's go. Come on. What more do you want me to do? I'm not moving. Okay, they're blocking us in. There's no turning back now. Yeah. Absolutely. Firm, calm, accuse. Nope, come on. We ask that you release Let's keep it zen. all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. Yes, we come on. To Let's go. Come on. Let's go. But we are not leaving until our people are free. That's it, Marcus. God, I'm so into this right now. Oh, I keep marching. Okay. No. We're going to keep marching, man. We're not going to hurt anybody, but... We got one model to work with here? Alright. Yeah, sure. Lit. That was a pretty weak defense force, I gotta say. Here we go. Here's where it starts. One at a time, Connor, if that's what it takes. But you are surviving. Nothing is gonna happen to you. Something might happen to you, but I'm really gonna... No spare him. Sorry, way. Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Hank, what are you even doing here? No. Okay. Jeez, we're cutting back and forth real quick here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they can't fire on us. So what we're doing is building... What is this, exactly? It's not shelter. Is it defenses? It looks like defenses. A war of attrition? Reinforced barricade, okay. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Um... Yeah. Hey, help me! This is getting really... Interesting. I mean, I can't even imagine how this is going to play out. I mean, what would be cool if is if I can't speak, I'm just so tongue-tied. What would be interesting is if I got to speak to the president herself. Obviously, she's not going to be here in person. We're in Detroit. But maybe right, that should do it. They'll put us in contact with her. That would be kind of awesome. We just... We need to talk to the one in charge. I know it was not an easy decision to make. No, dude, it was. Honestly, you made it easy. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Absolutely, man. Never violence. Never. It's not my motto. If I have the choice. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Send a message. Hold on. Whoa, check soldier's position. Support. Hold on, let me check that again. Support your people. Send message to journalists. Okay, um, I want to send a message. Support your people. Many of our people have fallen. Yeah, well, we need morale up, okay? So, hopefully we can do all three. You are more right than you know. Okay. Um, the media, absolutely. How do we do that? Is this the media? Marcus, we found what you asked for. What did I ask for? Oh, these are the holographic the spray paint there. guns. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're doing it. Good, good. Sending a, uh, a physical message. Prisoners, equality, alive, free. Equality, I think. Right, that's the important thing. Sick. Okay. This is going well so far, guys. I'm very happy with how this is playing out so far. Did I not support my people? Oh, there's so much supporting to do. Um... 
We're gonna do as much as we can, okay? I, I really, in these final stages, I need everything to go right. I need morale high. I need public opinion to be on our side, right? Because ultimately, they're the they're gonna be the ones that are gonna push back. Are you all right? The police and the military. They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I I don't want to shut down. Yep. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Uh, well, don't pressure the kid. Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Oh, man, I don't want to make too many, like, grandiose uh, comments on, like, the themes in this game because it's just, you know, it's not... I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's that's a very common thing to have happen, I think, when you're fighting for something. Uh, you get so, you know, once you're in the trenches, you think it may have been better just to have not done this at all and not suffered so many losses, you know, because who knows if we're actually going to be able to achieve our objective in the end. Well, that was weird. Sorry if there's a weird cut here. Um, <clears throat> I actually ran out of space on my computer and the recording just stopped, but we're back. Uh, you didn't miss anything. We're still keeping an eye on the police. They won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Yeah. Resist. That's the only thing we can do. So they were advancing, I was right. Think Connor has any chance of making it? Yes. We can only count on ourselves now. I will throw myself in front of Connor if I have to. Is that where we're skipping to now? No, we still got more to do. Old barricade, okay. What else can we do? We can check that magazine again, but that's not really. Marcus! Oh Marcus, come look! Uh oh. Are things kicking off here? Oh, get out of here, the FBI director. Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Why do you sound so insincere? Don't go. It's a trap. Yeah, I kind of feel on, that Marcus. way as well. I just want to talk. Mm. Oh, God damn it. You know what? I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? I have to take the chance. Look, if we go out of martyr. Have to take. Yep. If we go out of martyr, then it just is what it is. But the whole point of doing what I've done up until this point was to have a conversation. So that's what we're going to do. Imagine if he tries to do something right now. What's going to happen to him? In a few minutes, troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. Making threats. It'll all be over. See how far that gets you. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Hmm. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. My be life. Detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Why do I not believe you? You're the FBI. Ooh, that unlocked one seems pretty... Uh... What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. Ha! Huh. You're it. Okay. All right. Last remaining deviants. Not really, though. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. Jesus. You could be free, Marcus. That's such a beautiful sentiment. To live among the humans. You could have what you've always dreamed of. For the price of everyone else's life. The lives of your people. All you have to do is say the word. You want to undo everything we've done and get out of here, bro. I'd rather die here. Yeah. Than betray my people. 
That's it. Well, Straight up, mic drops. Your own death warrant. You think I'm gonna give in that easily? You're out of your mind. <laughs> he wants to put them back at square one. All of this was to, you know, secure their freedom, and he's just gonna lock them up again? Like, get out of here. I'm sure none of them would rather... Or all of them would rather, you know, follow me till the end than have that happen. What did he say? Well, he said we have a few minutes left to live, <laughs> to be honest with you. Here we go. Rally the troops, son. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Hell yeah, man. Uh oh. Oh my god, really? The sucker punch? Are you serious? Your okay, come on. Life is in your we gotta rally the troops real quick, now Connor. Time to decide what we gotta most. get this done. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Guarantee Hank Bluff convince. Gonna try it. Just like you. Gonna try it. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. If it can happen to me, it can happen to him. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. We need to stall. We need to stall to do something. Guarantee bluff, Hank. Ah. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. I just need as much info it's as I can get. Whether or not that includes killing this human. No, no, there's a way for both of these things to go my way. There is a Enough way. Enough talk. Hmm. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Hank, do something, man. Or are you going to sacrifice him? Come on, just do a little dodge. All right. All right. I, You're guys, in. guys. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! God. Oh my god! Whoa! No! 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 Oh my god! I messed it up! I messed it up! Am I gonna die now? Am I gonna die now? Am I gonna die now? Please don't! Please don't let Connor die! Please! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Okay. I'm not talking. I'm. I'm focused. without you get rid of him we have no time to lose <sighs> it's me hank i'm the real connor oh god one of you is my partner the old uh... the other is a sack of shit oh we got we uh, the question is who's who wait one of us got shot was it me that got shot or was what it him doing hank oh god i don't remember i'm the real connor which one got shot oh my Give god gun and I'll don't take move. oh we both got shot in the same place why don't you ask us something yeah, exactly. Only the real would exactly. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's oh, damn. name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. Oh. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. <laughs> yeah, okay. I... Very convincing. Oh god, now I don't know. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> My son, what's his name? Oh shit. Oh shit. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. Is that right? It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. Oh my god, I don't know. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. It unlocked, so I, I was guessing that was the right one. I needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Oh. And he blamed the android for it. That's why you hate androids. Oh my god. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. 
Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Are you kidding me? In this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, it reminded him of his son. I thought about Cole. Oh my God! How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. I can't take this right now. This is breaking my heart. But humans don't come back. And that's what gives them closure. I like your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, that was rough. I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. That was really rough, but we're pals, man. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Till the end, buddy. Make the world a better place. <laughs> oh, dude, he got over his hate of androids. Right, do what you gotta do. Hank, I love you more than words can even describe. Oh my god. Oh, my heart is so full right now. I'm so happy. <sighs> Hold on, really quick. Here was my here was my reasoning for saving Hank. I you know what? Actually, I'll 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 save it for the end. This isn't the time. Wake up. Ba I mean, the quick answer is that I I knew that he was going to be able to help us. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! But wake up! Wake up! I mean, wake up, while this is happening, I guess up, the other thing is. Martyrdom, man. I knew if we didn't help the revolution, that they, if they really did go out, they were going to be martyrs. And a whole... A revolution on a whole other scale was going to start if Marcus and his crew died. And Hank, I mean... Hank is Hank. We had to save Hank. ...to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade. Okay, here we go. Despite it's all kicking off now. We gotta hope that Connor and the androids got there in time. decided to put an end to the deviant's demonstration by force this time. Okay, what's the scene looking like? Another one. Oh! He's throwing himself in danger to save his people. Okay, come on. No screwed up QTEs here. As few people are gonna die as possible. If I have anything to say about it, come on. We need as many people as possible. The media's on top of this band. You see what's going on? We need help from the people. Oh no, these are the ones that I'm not good with. Is the controller moving ones? Please don't give me two more or too many more of those. On some Captain America shit over here. Oh no no no! Oh, oh I almost missed it. That was close. Oh, they're throwing everything at me now. All kinds of motions. I'm not expecting these men. Thank God I'm on top of the game. Okay, are we done? Are we good? We're the last ones. This is it, Josh. The rest of you by my side. If this is it, it's been a pleasure. Hell yeah, let's go out with a song. Let's do it. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on. 
just a little while longer. Fight on, just a little while longer. Pray on, just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the the deviants. The deviants are singing. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. I have like a lump in my throat right now. This is the closest I've come to crying genuinely this whole time. This is fucking beautiful. Tell them to stand down. Oh my god. It looks like... Yes, the military oh is Oh my god. Yo, my heart rate... Today, November 11th, my heart rate jumped to like 160, dude. Thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. I could have sworn they were going to open fire right then and there. They originated from cyber Connor. <gasps> by deviants given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties i have ordered the army to retreat oh the evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment you the level of relief i have right now it's like I, yo, hours, i'm breaking I down the senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Oh, we fucking One did it, Kara. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. I don't know what to say. Should I even speak at this point? Boys. We might be missing Kara, but God damn it, we did it. We did it. We did it. It worked, man. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. It's all about peace. No violence. It was never about violence. We got what we wanted by appealing to the people. They want you to speak to them. Today, Holy our people cow. finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh, what's going on here? Whoa. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe this wasn't the end of it. What's going on here? I'm super uncomfortable. Amanda? Amanda? What is going on? Why does he look like Amanda. he's in pain? What's Why is the music so ominous? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? Oh my god, no. You were compromised and you became a deviant. Oh my god, no. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? No. You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. 
Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Oh my god, please. Amanda! Please. No, please tell me that this is some kind of... There's got to be a way. Find a way out, please. Please, please give me a clue. Give me a clue. Anything, man. I'm just gonna start running. I just gotta start going. Oh! You never know. What's the exit? Oh! Please be it. Please, for the love of all that is good. Please. Is this the only thing we can interact with? It looks like... Oh, come on. Come on. Connor, we're not losing you. We made it. We're in the end zone. I'm keeping an eye on the LED on his head. Where we forgive our enemies. No. Uh, uh, Humans uh, are both our uh, creators uh, and our oppressors, and tomorrow, oh God, we must make them our partners. <laughs> Maybe even one day our friends. You, uh, you scared me there. But the time for anger is over. Yeah. Come on. Let's bring now it home. We must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now, we are free! I'm at a loss. I, I mean, what am I supposed to say? Uh, I'm just so happy. And I'm so proud of these video game characters. Stop with the music. Why does it keep doing that? The game keeps making me think that something's gonna happen. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I don't want to talk over this music. Oh, well, I mean, you gotta show respect to the three main cast. And, of course, everyone else involved in this masterpiece of a project. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the volume down for myself. Should have uh, lowered it in the video as well. But, um... I don't, I don't even know where to start. I mean, I guess a good place to start would be that... Can we just talk about what an arc this game has been? We started out as like a motionless... Not motionless, but emotionless, rule-following stickler android detective in Connor. A, I was just going to say, uh, a helper of Carl Manfred's. And just like a, a cleaner android, right? In Kara. And the journeys they took, I mean, Kara became a mother. Connor became a deviant who ultimately, you know, put the nail in the coffin as far as mobilizing enough androids to really, you know, bring it home. And Marcus became the leader of a sovereign people. So let's just consider that for a second. Like that's just unbelievable. Um, this game, let me, let me tell you something a bit about myself here. I have a hard time getting emotionally invested in games. It happens. It does happen, but it takes an extraordinarily special game to do that to me. And this was such a surprise, I can't even begin to tell you. I want to say, honestly, like, maybe... I can't put a number on it, but there was a good deal of time, at least, like, from the beginning to the middle, where I was just sort of... It was the same as playing any other game, right? Like, I was, I was invested, 
and I liked these characters a lot. But towards the end, especially, man, I was properly like I considered these people more than my friends. I like I wanted to protect them with my life. I was like so invested in the outcome and the well-being of these characters. And that's just a credit to how well written and how well acted they are. Kudos to the three main characters. Uh, and of course, Hank, who is voiced by God. I can't believe it's escaping. Oh, let me turn the volume up. Post credit scene. Ironic, I was just talking about you and I can't remember the name of your voice actor and I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, we're back at the uh, the food truck, eh? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna cry. Not on camera, but I'm gonna cry. Yep. Just gonna wait until this is over with and uh, absolutely gonna get... Gonna let uh, a tear and a half shed down my face. Proudly. Um, okay, well, what else do we want to talk about? I mean, I pretty much said what I wanted to say. Like, I, I just, by the end of it, I was so emotionally invested. And I, th this game really is special. I'm going to remember this one for a long time to come. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of my more recommended games. Uh, this, this game, to anyone who wishes to play it uh, after watching this, because... Obviously, there are so many different outcomes that you can have. Um, it, it's so it, it it's very powerful in that it teaches a lot of good values, I think. And it's just it's a very thought provoking game, and I like it for that reason. And it's emotional as hell, and also very fun, despite you know the majority of the gameplay being just um, choosing options. But that's part of it, you know. It's very intellectually engaging, uh, and emotionally and psychologically. And also physically, those QTEs were not easy towards the end. Um, but I'm going to stop rambling. I mean, this isn't what you want to hear. Uh, I just, uh, yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Absolute masterpiece of a game. Had so much fun with that. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it because it was a thrill ride for me. Um, yeah, where do we go from here? I think we're going to switch up the format a little bit. That I'm very excited to 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 do. I've been working on stuff behind the scenes that I think uh, is going to be quite interesting. So, if you like the video, please make your way to the button that shows that sentiment to me. Press the like button. That's what I tried to say there. Uh, subscribe also. That's that would be super awesome, very helpful, and uh, we're just going to keep growing this family, you know. And that's it for me, man. So with that. Take care of yourselves.